um, it is stinging nettle. Now if you look at it, and I'm going to get stung here, and it's okay. See all these little hairs? Mm -hmm. People think those are barbs, you know, they're going to stick in you. That's not it at all. They break off. And when they break off, they release this wonderful formic acid. And the formic acid burns your skin. Just like when an ant bites you, like the big black carpenter ants, formic acid. Well, this plant does that. Arthritis. This is an excellent treatment for arthritis. I need it. <laughs> I've heard it's an excellent treatment. <laughs> it's not something I want to do because what you do is you take them when they get really big and there's a whole bunch of the little stickers. Yeah, and you take it and you beat yourself with it. Okay. I don't want it. <laughs> yeah, and what it does is it breaks all of the little hairs, releases all that formic acid, turns bright red, you itch, it burns, and it brings a lot of blood to the area, which reduces inflammation. I think it doesn't reduce inflammation, it just pay replaces one pain with, with another. another. It's yeah. like my leg hurts. Okay, I'm gonna punch you in the throat. How's your leg feel? I think it's pretty much similar to that. Um, okay. But this is extremely, all joking aside, extremely high in vitamin, um, in iron. Yeah. All in iron? More iron <coughs> than um, in like eight or ten times the iron contained in spinach. Yeah. Well, Where this does, this time of year, and this is going to hurt, but oh well. Yeah, that feels really good. Um, now if you use uh, rubber gloves. <laughs> yeah, um, or you can come out with a pair of tongs and break them off and just stick it into a, or you can be a man. And, uh, yeah, it's going to hurt. And then when nobody's looking. <laughs> um, but you take this, mm -hmm, you take this, and it's, it burns really well. Um, the minute you put it in hot water, it dissolves those spines, renders the formic acid non-existent. It's no longer toxic to you. You can eat it and it is amazing. It is sweet. It is... The flavor, you know what I mean when I say green? But green in the best way. Right. I love to take this. I take um, a quart of chicken stock, put it into a, I first take some, a little bit of onion, take an onion, a couple of carrots, a couple pieces of celery, chop it all up, put a little bit of olive oil in the pan, saute them just a little bit, pour in my um, quart of chicken stock, a little bit of salt, and then add about a pound of these. Oh, wow. mm. oh, you let them cook for just a couple of minutes, they get tender. It is the best soup you've ever had, and it is extremely high in iron. Um, Dr. Vogel, uh, like 57 consonants, you know, yeah. he had like mm -hmm. Steve dot 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 dot, you know, all of it, but his last name was Vogel. He wrote, it's called The Nature Doctor, and he talked about um, people using this at the end of the winter when this first comes up in the spring and you're suffering from, you know, lack of uh, iron all the year. Uh, you've got that, you know, you're a little really pale, you're just anemic as heck. Mm -hmm. You eat these for a couple of days and mm. it brings your iron back. Um, you can use this all year long. You can take the growth parts at the top, even when the plant becomes really fibrous, and you can always eat these. Um, you can also take and chop it up and you can make a tincture the tincture will draw out all of that oil or all of that iron. Now, where that's important, um, how many of you have ever known women that through their menstrual cycle they become anemic? Mm -hmm. It becomes so bad that they're anemic. This is an <laughs> excellent treatment for that. Excellent treatment for it. Not to mention it tastes great. <laughs> um, Everybody want to play with this and get itchy and you know all that good stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I was in here, you can throw it over the fire. Like it. <laughs> yes, it can. Yes. As long as you're heating and burning off those hairs, it renders the. Could you cook um, it? Could you cook that in the pot, like, uh, and not have to worry about the hairs? Yeah, as long as you. You don't have it. to pre-cook it, like cook it and then drain it and no no no, no. you just yep, right you just dump the whole thing in it as soon as the water hits it it takes as soon as the water heats it it yeah. eliminates it yep now is there any kind of look like to, to, to avoid or? um there's wood nettle that looks the same but it's it's not it doesn't have the same amount of iron okay but it's it's still edible okay. any of the yurtica species mm -hmm. the nettle families 
Um, it is. It's wonderful stuff. Yeah, it is. It's not typically a square stock. One of the things that this, as this gets older, it gets high and it gets pretty woody. Right. Um, it works as a great cordage. Uh, on my survival classes, I teach how to make cordage. And you take nettle, you pound out the nettle, and it separates into these fibers. Then you roll the fibers, you do this reverse twist, and it makes this rope. As a matter of fact, you guys have heard of um, uh, Spartacus. Mm -hmm. um, he escaped from Rome, and the Romans, they, tra they trapped him on this, this hill. They had all three sides covered, and on the back it was just a sheer cliff, so they didn't have to cover him there during the night. And this is this is true. I mean, they made they took nettle made and they made ropes oh, and they got down. scaled off and got away huh. <laughs> by okay. using it. It's extremely strong fiber, extremely strong. Every bit as strong as hemp, um, but it's you know it's more fun to work with than hemp. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, okay, one more. I think